Hello and thanks for checking in the Spider Tracks TV. This is Tom behind the camera. And we got less than two and a half weeks to King of the Hammers, or just about two and a half weeks. And it's funny to think that this time last year we were still wiring up the rock boat. We didn't even have a motor that was that was working at that point. So man, it's been a it's been a long year, but pretty happy to be where we're at today. The rock bug has been doing real well. It's won the last three We Rock competitions, I think, and and uh, it's working great. So we got it back here, just kind of prepping it for King of the Hammers. And you know, this year we're focused more on just kind of the fine details, you know, getting it ready rather than worrying about it, you know, running and working and big things like that. So I'll walk you through some of the some of the new things that we added to the Rock Bug this year, make it a little bit more King of the Hammers worthy, if you will. And uh, some of these things are, you know, again, things that we wanted to do last year, and then other things are actually rule changes. So I'll kind of go over that with you guys too. Um, I'll start with the front of the vehicle. We added a, a few fins here onto the to the front radiator, so when the, the hood is on, we're kind of scooping in some air for that radiator. We got a theme going on this year. It's it's a lot about cooling, so this is kind of one of many things you'll see uh, throughout the vehicle that we're trying to trying to keep things happy and cool. So we got that going on. Uh, over here, you're not going to see a whole lot, but I'll do my best to show it. We have a new radi uh, radiator. We have a new alternator, and. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like much. It looks like an alternator. No big deal. But the alternator we had on there before was actually quite a bit smaller, you know, keeping the whole small, lightweight uh, theme going. But uh, it only produced about 65 amps, which was not enough to power the, the rock bug on long trips. And uh, get in there a little bit more. And now that we added all these new coolings and new fans and stuff, it, it didn't have a chance. So we got this alternator in there. And uh, it's supposed to have a peak amperage of 150 and it's supposed to have an amperage at idle at 85 which will be pretty impressive it actually does that so I'm hoping that uh, that's what the rock bug needs here. I'll move on over Got a couple more things to show you uh, that's not all that exciting but it's part of the rules it's uh, a brake switch uh, for brake light and we got our brake lights now this year and I'll show you that in the back uh, okay but we're on to the theme of cooling uh, we were going to add a an oil cooler and kind of opted not to because the only space we had for it was down here which is where the tranny cooler used to be and I'll show you the new one and it's just not a very effective place so we just opted to put a scoop on it and uh, we're thinking that's going to draw some air in there and we never really had issues with cooling on that so it's kind of just above and beyond what we had before uh, oh I'm over here too I guess I'll show this I don't have the the window nets in yet they're still being made at Mastercraft but we uh we kind of rushed that last year. We used to kind of like a seatbelt style buckle, and it just wasn't too clean. So, you know, we kind of made this here from scratch, and it's uh, it's spring loaded. Kind of show you this here, but let uh, me go back over here. So, spring loaded. You pop that out. And that's I don't know. It's pretty neat. Mastercraft should have that uh, window net here finished shortly. All right. So I showed you the scoop. Let me move uh, move on to the back here. See what we got going on. Most of the stuff's actually in the back, so maybe I should have started there first. A little bit more interesting. All right, so we got the the light bar in the back, uh, brake lights and all. Again, that's new rules, so we had to do that. Uh, there's our new tranny cooler. Again, just uh, continuing on with the theme of keeping things cool, and uh, so we definitely upgraded that quite a bit and got a fan on it now and put it up higher and out of the way. Uh, try to get some more airflow on that. Uh, this this was the big boy. This this was a lot of work actually. This is the new fuel cell, and we have a larger capacity than last year. But the bigger thing is meeting uh, meeting all the new rule requirements. Uh, there's a bladder inside there. Even though we built the fuel cell, there's a bladder inside, and then there's a firewall on the outside. You got to put a firewall now on the outside of your fuel cell, so you can see all the aluminum sheet there for the firewall. And uh, yeah, you know, we got a couple other small things here. I mean, nothing really to write home about, but we cleaned up the action packer mounts and you know, made that a little nicer. We got ourselves a jack on the bottom, if you could see that, if the lighting's enough. And that way we can actually work on the vehicle while we're moving without tearing through too much stuff. This thing gets a lot of attention. It's funny. We mounted the impact wrench there, and you can just drive it, uh, drive it in one direction. You can take it out and drive it in the other direction, and it tightens up in place. So that worked out pretty cool. And just in case if the impact dies, we got ourselves a small breaker bar here, uh, just in case. You know, you don't want to be stranded out there. And, uh, you know, really that's about it. All these little changes took some time, but we got her ready, kind of scope over, and she'll be leaving tomorrow morning, heading out to Tracy's. 
He's uh, going to send it over to Gerald's. They're going to finish up some wiring for the new fans and the new alternator and stuff that we set up. Then we'll be out there on the lake bed here soon. So hope to see you guys out there and hope you enjoyed the quick little update we got on the rock bug. See you soon.